Okay, guys, so here we are at the hobby desk, and yes, I'm gonna have a go with this Tamiya 135th scale German King Tiger. Been after this for for quite some time, and I was lucky enough to pick it up at Telford in November there. My first time there. What a fantastic experience. I'm sure, if you guys were there. Good. And the more I look at this box, it oh, it looks awful like a panther. I just built I built a panther there last year, and it's just. It looks it looks very 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 familiar. Nice nice artwork there with with uh, the box art. Let's let's just have a look round round the box. Obviously, nice camouflage there on that. That says telling you a bit of bump about the king tiger. That says exactly short end. Sorry, you can't really see that. Yeah, same as the sort of front basically. Then we've got this end here, and that looks like a picture of something in, in some museum. I'm just having a quick scan through here. Uh, I can't really see it. And then the other end is the same, and it cost me thirty one fifty. So any, anyway, let's um, let's let's have a look inside the box. I think these are the older version. I must just look up and scale me and see when this first came out. But obviously, it's this. What is that, A5? Is that A5, is it? Uh, so it's like, like this longitudinal booklet. Goes out onto a quite length, lengthy, lengthy instruction. So we've got 16, 16 steps, quite quite detailed. I always find this step three here, the wheels, I always, I always find that confusing. Well, I did before. Uh, I just need to be careful, especially when you're, you're painting them. Taking them off the screws and painting them, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go through these uh, instruction guys. You've probably seen these many times before. But a bit of careful reading is required, I would say. And there's your your paint callouts at the back here. Um, I like to try and do what maybe yeah. I've done that with the Panther. I've done this. Um, I've done this color scheme with my 135th Panther. I've done done this. Well, I tried anyway. <laughs> Um, and let's see, I'll have a wee, wee think about it. Just looking in the box now, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through it, through it all. Maybe have a look at a few things. See, then just to, I know it's not, it's not the Panther, but that back end looks, I mean, the Panther had a, a holder as well. It just looks very, very similar. Um, let's, um, let's maybe open up a couple of bags here and see, see what the, what the, the bruise is like. Um, so hopefully you can see that there in, in the light. Um, but that looks pretty good. So it does look pretty crisp. Um, can't see much. Oh, there's a few ejections. You're probably not going to see that. That's all going to be hidden. But that, that's that's nice. I like that. Very good. Uh, and uh, this is the same at the same spray. Exactly. I see there's so many waves. Gonna have to really think about how to put these, paint them, and and, um, and mask them up, etc., and then keep them in order. That's the best thing to do, isn't it? Label them. But that that looks very right blue. There's no no real flash there at all. Worth talking about, is there? Oh, very good. good. So that's that one. Um, I don't know. Something. Um, what's this here? Oh, that's uh, actually that's um. I think that's is that mesh. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Um, here we have the barrel and the, the turret, etc. I can open them. Bloody bag. Excuse my language. It's all butchers. Okay, and there's our, there's our commander as well. Um, sorry for the siren in the background. Um, <laughs> It's, it's, so there's always something, isn't there? But that that looks really good, doesn't it? Look forward to building this. I must say, very nice. And the other side of it too doesn't seem to be much, much there. Hopefully you can see that. A few we think, but you're not gonna. I mean, you don't need to worry about that. You won't see it. And our our commander, our commander, he looks quite good, quite detailed. Yeah, so the detail's really good. Actually, some of this super duper. Um, and we've got the rubber tracks. I do like the rubber tracks. A lot of people don't like these rubber tracks. I like them. 
because they're easy to fit. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I just like it uh, managing, but I'll look forward to weathering them up. Okay, um, we've got we've got one more bag here for something. Why is that one black? Yeah, let's have a look at this. Oh, this is the spur tracks. Yeah, okay. So that's the spur tracks, right? Uh, but you, you'll paint them to whatever you, you're going to weather these, right? So they look nice as well. And um, so this is uh, the gun. Part of the gun there, the breech. And there's your skirting as well, right? Very nice. I must say, it, I can't see any flash yet. Guys, this is really good. Here's your two kills. Nice. I can't see any flies whatsoever. Well, that's, that's good. Good stuff, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Then we've got the upper and lower hull. One piece each. It's your fears. It's your fears. Okay, I don't know where to be now. This is the, um, so this is the upper hull. Again, nice detail. Yeah. And the uh, decals, I thought there's a breeze. So we've got, um, so is that three sets? So we've got three sets of markings. Um, Three sets of numbers. I must do a bit of research, unlike me, <laughs> and find out sort of who who or sort of where these tiger, tiger king tigers. I think tiger two is not the right. They uh, they were. I like that. Might do that version. See what that is. But anyway, there you, there you are, guys. Um, quick um, quick sprue tour. Here we are, the bench, guys, and as you can see, bits and pieces all over the place. Um, I suppose I can um, best start off by saying I tried this Zimmert. Is that right? I hope I, I pronounced that right. Um, as the instructions call for it. Now, um, hopefully there will be a picture of the type of clay I used. It's Daz, I think it's, it's called. Um, and I've, um, I've, I've tried, hopefully you can see that. Um, I've tried to have a go at it. That, I must say that's my second attempt because the first time it dried and fell off. I've just put that on. It's starting to dry out and it's not bad, it's a bit rough like, but you know, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm happy with it. If I can just show you the turret, I've just done the turret there as well. So hopefully you can see that in the camera. Yeah, you can. We don't have a tool. I was just, I was just using this type of thing, like a, a craft blade, just you know, doing that there, and that was making it fact. But, you know, I'm going to let that dry, see how it goes, but I'll do the whole third like that. I didn't have, I well, actually, I sent away from for some Tammy a Putty. I've seen some guys on on uh, some of the, the channels, YouTube, using Putty, and there's actually a Zimmer tool that you can get, but obviously it's not, uh, it's not available here out in uh, the sunny kingdom of Saudi Arabia. But, um, yeah, happy enough. Now I've got the got my wheels all fixed up. Just getting all them ready for primer. The hull, the hull, upper hull, all ready to go. I've I've just marked out where all bits and pieces have to come. So when I put the Zimmerat on there, I must say it was a real up to now. It's been a, a fantastic build. Really, everything's just popped into place. Everything everything's going well now. Really enjoying the build. Obviously, this is the this is the inside of the turret. So I've um, I painted that white as instructed. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint these wee seats. I think it calls for gloss semi gloss black, but I might do them brown or something. We're all we're all ready to go. I must say the the barrel. I was I had a bit of difficulty about the barrel. I wasn't too sure what way it goes um, for it to go up and down, but we got there in the end. And have a few more, few more other wee things to do. But there you are, guys. A very, a very quick, a quick update. And I'd just like to say um, a massive thank you to all of you who, uh, who, who've subscribed, who pop into the channel, who give me comments. If you want to see more content, please, please subscribe. 
be great to see you. But um, yeah, massive thanks. Thanks very much. At the bench here, working on this Zimrit. I think that's the right pronunciation. Hopefully, you can you can see what I've uh, I, I've attempted. So that's well, it's a bit rough, like if I'm oh, <laughs> if I'm honest, but um, I've, I've had a go at it, and that's actually stayed in place, which is great. The same on the the rear end of the of the the tiger, the tiger king tiger, it's stayed in place too. So what I was going to do uh, was just going to show you what what. Well, how I um how I put it on. So I've got some of that bass clay, and hopefully a, a picture will appear. And um, I just take a bit off, just like that. I want to try and get it in, in view for you guys. So I just manipulate it between my fingers, and then I just press it on. Um, hopefully it'll stick. Um, as you can see, uh, just. Just try and press it down to get it as thin as possible and uh, throughout the whole the whole side that you're doing. Maybe guys have other methods to do or how they do it, but you want to try and get it as thin as possible. It's, that's, that's how it works for me anyway. Just doing our couple of wee bits. Won't bore you with all this. So I'll just right up to the edges there. Just taking wee bits of wee bits of the clay at a time. And then just squeezing it, manipulating it. As you can see, when when there's any thickness there, you can you can push it around a bit, to around the the surface that you're dealing with. I've seen guys on 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 some channels who use um who use tummy a putty. I I sent away for it, but being out in Saudi here, it's um it takes a bit longer to to stuff to come. So I couldn't really wait any further, any longer. So I just jumped in with this with this uh with this clay relatively cheap and available. So I'm just going around the uh the track hooks here as well. So trying not to to cover everything up. And again just pressing it in, trying to get it as thin as possibly can. Do one more more wee bit. It's all here. I'm hopefully going to do that the color camo, camo. But I'm I'm wondering what should I what should I prime it with a dark color or a light color? Anybody has any suggestions? I'd be happy to hear them. Because we're going to go sort of sandy brown and then green, or buff should I say rather than sandy brown. So again, just squeezing that in, squeezing it down as best you can. So it spreads over and sticks to the model. <laughs> the best bit. I, I remember when it, when I when I done this 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 back end here before I fixed it. A big chunks just I don't know whether the it dried out too quickly or or, or what. What it, they just fell off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you at all with with doing this whole process. But um, you get the idea. And then what I would do, I've got this wee sort of craft blade or something so then what i would do i would just touch touch that on this on on the side to give that effect like like this side i know it's i know it's rough i don't have the um the simmerate tool you know with the, the the wheel with the cog it'll do a much neater job than i do it freehand but um i think you get the idea guys so stay tuned if you want to see the rest of it and um if you want to subscribe then you can you can follow the rest of the build you can see that so this is the turret um turned out pretty well i've been off it, it's rough i have to confess it's rough even managed to keep that door open so that that was good uh just need to finish that off this is the part i had a bit of problem with at the start but that's turned out okay i'm happy with that and i think that's probably the best but it looks about the best the neatest then the upper hull had a bit of a shocker these couple of bits have fallen off as you can see i'm gonna i don't know what maybe try and glue them on super glue i, I don't know why that's come off what the rest of it has maybe i put it on too thin i've got obviously I've got this um this this side here seems to be okay just need to be very very careful taking off that mask and tape yeah other than that 
that's all good. Then I'll just, what I'll do now is I'll try and fix that. Maybe if I start put, putting primer on, it might help it uh, adhere to the um, to the plastic. If anybody's got some some guidance or comments, I, I, I'd love to hear it. But anyway, the, there you are, guys. That's uh, that's my effort at Zimit. Zimit. Is it Zimitine? Is it a is it a verb? Anyway, I don't think so. But anyway, um, there you are. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, stay guys. tuned. As you can see, I've primed up. I've primed up the turret and the hull and upper hull with just black black is it, let me see just check yeah vallejo 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 surface primer that i used because i'm gonna put down a base coat of xf 63 on top of the black coat i'm then gonna varnish that to protect it and then I'm gonna put down some chipping maybe spray I think I think I can spray this stuff Sh sure how the philosophy of it is but we'll do that or if not we'll use hairspray and then I will put down the further base coat which will be this dark yellow and then we've got the olive drab uh, XF62. If I hopefully have enough in that in that jar for the camo, the uh, red brown XF64. Go and try and give it that that look that's on that's on that's on the box. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can turn off the light. Right, let's try that one. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. So that's the box camouflage, which I hope to I hope to replicate. I did have I did have an issue with um with the turret. Let me just turn on the light again. As you can see, Zimmer had fell off. I just I just glued that back on again. I need to just trim it. But the gun, the barrel that goes into the into the turret itself. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the way it's meant to show. I've messed about with it an awful lot. I, I, I think it's right. I think I've followed the instructions, but if anybody can uh, can give me some guidance, that that would be that would be useful. I snapped the the ring for the for the gun. Yeah, it's numpty, but things are delicate, you know, when you're grabbing it. I can still open and close the hatch, and obviously the back hatch as well. Is um, is operational. There you are, guys. So it's just a, just um, I'll just get set up now to, for the the spraying of the German Grey, the the base coat the X, XF sixty three, and I'm now going to I've set up the airbrush uh, with my uh, XF sixty three German Grey. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. yep. I'm going to I'm going to spray this as the base coat. So just do the test. You probably hear the, the compressor in the background. Now, I, I don't have a mask on, obviously, safety precautions, uh, as I don't have uh, I don't have an air booth, but I have the window open to give me a bit of air. So um, here we go. So nice and light coats. So nice and easy over the black. Do the side here. Okay, that brings up. Mm. Over the top again for another coat, nice and light. Let's do the other side if I can turn it around. Right. Too much trouble, okay. There we go, nice and light. Do the barrel. Do the front there, you may see some of the zimmets come off. Uh, one of those things, eh?
There you go. So I, I need to put some more paint in. There you go. You get the idea, guys. So I'm going to do that with the uh, with the the hull. So I get in get in focus, and obviously all my wheels. I've um I've uh, given that base coat of uh, XF65 the or XF53. Beg your pardon. The uh, the German grey. It's quite a nice effect. So it is on under the black. So. Uh, the plan is now I'll I'll let that sit for like twenty four hours, give it a good dry, let it get a good dry, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to if we can reach it, I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna put this on. I'm gonna put on some varnish to protect that. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna put on the the chipping fluid or the hairspray, whatever whatever works. I must just see if I can. I think I've sprayed this before. I can't remember. But um, anyway, let's let's see what happens. I've just I've just spread some matte varnish on the turret and the wheels. If I can just bring it in the camera, so that's all all lovely, 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 really good. And then the keen eye of yous would have noticed that I hadn't put the skirts on. Brilliant. So I <laughs> just put them on. I'm gonna let them dry for a while because it was a bit tricky getting them on. The XF uh, 63, I believe, the German grey. And then I'll varnish that as well. And then we're maybe ready for starting the um, three phase camo. I've just sprayed on some um, some of the chipping fluid, medium chipping by uh, Vallejo. Uh, done some around the wheels, done some on the hull, and I've done the turret as well. And, um, oh, I, by the way, Tommy a putty turned up <laughs> better late than ever either. Anyway, use that the next time. So um there you are guys. That's um that's it all prepped now, I think. Um I'm gonna be out on a few wee bits and pieces of the side of the hole here, the the tools and that and the um the tool chains and etc. cables. And then we can start the, the three phase panel. Uh camouflage, sorry, beg your pardon. Uh hey guys, so at the hobby desk here. I'm about to <clears throat> do the best pit of Mullen in, in my my view. What I'm going to do is I've done a quick mixture. So this is going to be the the camo base colors, best you could call it. So the 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 the, the desert color, if you like. So what I've done is I've ninety percent for this XF sixty, the dark yellow, and I've done ten percent of XF two, the the flat white. Uh, mixed it all up, put it in my airbrush cup. Wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> so just do a wee test. Okay, okay. Close that. Let's just see how this. Uh, let's see how this goes. Nice and light. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Yeah, nice and light. Well, that's great. I really like that color. It's so why is that? It's a nice color. Oh. So just nice, nice coats, and then um, I, I'll I'll build it up over it again, and just build up a color, uh, so we get it nice, nice and smooth. Yeah, that's really good. Like that. Just keep the brush moving. Nice light coats, not going too heavy. Anyway, there you are, guys. That's coming out quite nicely, like that color. Let me pause the video here, and uh, I'll do the rest of uh, I'll do the rest of the kit. Hey, guys. So just finished off the rest of the uh, of the kit with that um, that mixture I was talking about. XF uh, sixty dark yellow, uh, ninety percent XF two flat white 
ten percent. Now I, I didn't use any any Tommy or anything. I just I just done it neat. Mixed it up, just mixed it up here like this. This is um this is a straw cut in half. Would you believe that's what I, that's what I used to to measure it out? Uh, so it it seems to have done the trick. I'm just looking at it there now as it's drying. Hopefully that will be enough. We'll give it 24 hours and I can just see there, look, it's, it haven't really covered there. See the way that the, the, the grey is coming through. But um, I'll maybe have a look at that tomorrow. I've also done the wheels, if you can see. So I left two out purposely so to, to give the effect that they've been, uh, they're, they're new and spur wheels and other ones have been damaged. Just to give it a bit of a variety. variety. The next colour is going to be up is going to be the green. I need to figure out what green I'm going to use. I think it's going to be like an olive drab, XF62 olive drab, or I might use this dark green from MRP. I'm not sure. It says RAF on it, if you can see that. It says RAF. So I might do a wee test on something and see what that turns out like. And I've opened these up and there's, oh, there's a queer core ping off them. I think you may need to use uh use a mask and open the window in a well ventilated area. Done the done the base coat there, that um that uh yellow, dark yellow I believe. Yeah the XF sixty. So uh let that dry for about twenty four hours and then I've um I've just put on the um the the, the dark green XF sixty one. Um I tried to follow the sort of pattern on the instructions but then I went no um couldn't see the really the top of the turret what it was doing so I just went I just went freehand <laughs> um it's it's okay um and obviously um I just thought very random pattern no no rhyme or reason to it um done the same with the 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 base of the, the, the tank I think this side the screen bits too much maybe or maybe Put some brown in there to break out a wee bit more. Uh, done a few wheels in the green as well, and I'll do some in the brown as well. Um, and, and take it from there. That's uh, that's use up to date now, guys. So the next one, so the next bit, then I'm gonna do is the the green, right? The, yeah. So the dark green, XF fifty or sixty one. No, sorry, <laughs> what I'm talking about nothing. The red brown, the XF uh, sixty four is gonna be the next one. And I'll, I'll break that all up for you on the barrel and I just uh I just finished off doing the uh the tri the tri camel uh on the uh on the King Tiger. Um as you can see it it's not great. There's a few overspray. So I tried to use um I tried to use this for the first time. I was a wee bit skeptical about it, but it actually, it actually seemed to work in places. Now I'm still trying to just take this, this stuff off, and I'm I'm conscious that I need to be very very careful in case something pings off with it. You see like that, those 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 wire cutters. So just need to be super super careful. Oh okay, and um, just go around the kit, uh, taking all these wee bits and pieces off. Uh, come on, come on, yeah, okay, super. I think that's okay, yeah, that's good. So, and then I understand, then you just, um, I'll stop that, uh, you just roll it up and, um, join it together and put, put it back in the tin. Um, I've, um, I've done the turret too, uh, I took a good few pieces off, so, um, Hopefully this goes okay on camera. So nice and easy. Just peel it off. No real force. Uh, oops, there's a bit of zimmerit. Come off. Okay, right. Okay, nice and easy. Yeah, okay. Nice. So that, that's turned out okay. I'm quite happy with that. Um, now obviously I don't know what's happened there. It's probably... I've left this overnight, guys, if I'm honest with you. So it's probably just, um, it's probably just softened up. So I've, I've done, I've done a bit on the, um, on the, uh, on the barrel here. So just nice and easy, winding it off.
Okay, let's lower that. No, that's not bad. I'll maybe go maybe put a bit more green on that. So yeah, there you go. Um yeah, you can see some of the edges aren't aren't really hard. Uh there's a bit of overspray, but I can tidy that up and um oh, I don't know what happened there. And oh gosh, look at that. I'll have to have a look at that. Um and the um the you can see the pencil marks where I've um where I was trying to follow the instructions, but it's no avail. Um so yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Now I'll just tidy up some of these these wee bits you can see here. Look, there's been a bit of a overspray there. And maybe go back over that. Uh bit of rough here. But um all in all, yeah, happy enough. All good. Oh, and like I say, there's um there's uh, one of the, one of the tools that hanged off when I've been uh, taking off the stuff. But anyway, there you are guys. I'll uh, I'll tidy this up. We'll get um, we'll get some varnish on it, and then we'll we'll talk about the wheels and the tracks. Okay, cheers. And um, hopefully you can see that. So here we are. Here's um, here's my effort at the three coloured camo screen. Let's just take a turn off for for the moment. So as you can see, I I used uh, dark yellow, dark green, and uh, then a a brown. Yeah, red brown. So red brown XF sixty four. Dark the dark yellow was fifty seven. Was it? I think. I think, uh, and then the green was um, dark green. I believe it was. I think it was sixty one FF sixty one. I don't have it. I put it away. No, there's it there. Yeah. So dark green XF sixty one. Now, um. I I I had a bit of a nightmare because I I wanted to, uh, I I applied chipping fluid, put it like that. I I applied the this uh, chipping fluid right, so done a primer, black primer as you as you maybe seen in the the previous episodes. Put down a um a grey for the base coat, uh, you know, like the bare metal type of thing. Varnish that to protect it. I then put down chipping fluid and then put down my, my color schemes. For some reason when I applied water it it, it didn't it didn't dissolve and, and show the um and show the base coat. Now I don't know whether it was because there's a three coats of paint on or maybe it was something that I done. Anyway, it it didn't work. <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm happy enough. I'll I'll maybe go around with a sponge and do some slight chipping. Um the um the Zimmerit turned out okay. Uh it's a bit rough, but um I'm happy enough with it. Um and I, I, I put on the skirts. Um and this this one just came off because it wasn't fixed properly, but I'm gonna have to take it off anyway because I won't be get, able to get the tracks on. Um, you probably see in the background. I'm I'm preparing to uh, paint the tracks as well. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty happy with it. Um, I tried a bit of um, rust effect on the exhaust at the back, and I was using oh, Z reaches over. Can I get? Yes, I was using this here from uh, Lake Color. Um, I, I I think they need to be a bit, but. Bit more rust looking, dull looking. Um, I might be trying to figure that out and um and 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 see what I what I can do with that. Maybe show that up the camera a bit better to see how that went. Um, done the wheels as well. Now I'm just leaving these loose for the time being. Um, to get the tracks done and then I'll uh, I'll put on the caps and that there as well. So painted everything up. Um, pretty happy with it. Done this. I don't know what you call this type of camouflage ambush. I think I heard somebody say, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy with it. On the turret now, and the first thing with the turrets, um, the the decals, uh, or the decals, whatever you want to call them. I don't think that's the right color, but that's what the instructions say to put on the, this version. I want to do, um. I, I don't know, I mean, this kit was 93, I think, or something like that, so it's a pretty old kit, and um, the, the MD calls weren't great, uh, but I put them on anyway. Again, um, the 
you know, happy with happy with the the way it's turned out. The the Zimmerit is is good enough, and I even that door can that hatch can open, and you can see in through the back there the um the shell shells um the shell racks um got my tracks on. I'm I'm probably gonna dull them down a bit. Maybe do more of that rust stuff on them. For some reason, my um my barrel has got quite loose. It was quite um stiff so you could sort of hold it in a position. I don't know how I'm gonna tighten that up. Um the the hatch op comes open, I think. Yeah, there you go. Uh so we can get our, our guy in. He's um he's ready for ready for a bit of a bit of painting. Uh so that'll be nice. Um so yeah pretty 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 happy with the way it all turned out. Um obviously the Zimrit um, it was bits chipped off, etc. But not bad. Decals are a bit of a letdown, but uh, what can you do? So, um, yeah, there, there you are, guys. I mean, that that's just a, a break the update. And then, obviously, I've done the wheels now. I, I, I've done the wheels. I didn't do any set pattern or anything. I just um, painted them the sort of the four four colors, four or five colors. I mean, even this is the um the dark gray. I've just left that as if it's just a spare one that's come on, you know, for the factory. I've done the edges in a silver because they'll be they'll be running along the tracks. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just about to give it a, a varnish, protect all that paint now, and then I'll I'll start on the start on the tracks and um. I'll I'll show that I'll show that in another another update. So there you are, guys. Um, as usual. So guys, uh, here we are at the at the desk, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint up the uh, the tracks. Uh, so you see me here at the moment. Now I'm just um, putting down a, a sort of a primer, which is the XF85. Uh, I think it's NATO black, rubber black. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So as you see, just uh, just giving it a, a slight rub over uh, both sets of tracks, uh, and there you are. I'm showing you what uh, what I'm using. So doing the other one as well. I'll I'll do the inside of these as well. So I will. Um, oops, nearly uh, spilled the mixing pot. Um, I think I I think I put a drop of Tamiya uh, thinners in this one because uh, it was near the end of the bottle and it was getting quite gloopy. Uh, but generally, I've been uh, I've been not using any thinners. I've been just using it neat. Uh, so doing the other side now um, <clears throat> over a, uh, with the, the airbrush, nice and easy, Liam. So fairly straightforward, um, nothing too nothing too strenuous there. All good. So um, I'm just topping it up now again because uh, there wasn't enough in the cup, and I'll um, I'll, uh, I'll um, finish that off now. You can see my. Um, my lovely head. <laughs> so you go, all good, nice and black. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be putting a um, a dark green. I think it's XF sixty uh, one over the top of this black one once it's dried, uh, and that um, that should be coming up shortly. Oops, sorry, no more more black. <laughs> Um, obviously not judging judging what I need uh, in in the uh, in the airbrush. So um, it's all good. Yeah, and just finishing off the the final touches now. Just. Make sure that I get all the black between the between the tracks. These are the rubber tracks that Tommy gave you with the kit. I quite like these because they're easy to work with. Uh, I know guys guys don't like them. So now now we've let that dry for for a couple of hours, and then we're going to put on the XF. I think that's it. X sixty three or sixty one. I'm not too sure. Uh, I can check. 
Um, so same again. Um, do we test there, and then I'll just go over. I'll go over the tracks nice and light, uh, and you see that lovely colour. It's coming out now. Um, uh, it really looks really nice in the uh, in the flesh. So, so this is this is a further 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 base coat if you if you like um, to, um, to to put down the the next coat, uh, which which will come up after this here. So all good, all good. I think it's on the inside of these tracks as well with the same color. Um, I can't remember if I, I flicked it over again. Run out of paint. Top it up. As you see, I'm just pouring that straight into the cup neat. I'm not using any thinners at all. And that seems to be fine. Another retest and off we go again. Finishing on it off. Um, nice spread. Spread, spread lovely. I'm using a water eclipse here. Just for your information, guys. Um, lovely airbrush. Really, really very happy with it. Um, takes a bit of getting used to, I suppose. I suppose that's just your, your building your skills up. Um, but the more you airbrush, the more you more you get to use the trigger and um, what sort of. I'm probably a bit closer the way I'm doing that, but anyway, it it, it turned out really well. Uh, so they're just basically finishing off that grey now, or that dark green. I beg your pardon. Oh, a wee bit more um, into the old um, into the old brush. So good stuff as it um as it finish that off. Lovely. So I'll I'll just let this dry for a few hours. Uh and then I'll come again. I'll come back again with the um with the next coat. So here we are. So now you can see it there, uh the mixed cup. So it was um XF nine and XF sixty four uh off the top of my head. I think actually I don't show you the 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 uh, the paints I've used at the start of at the start of this clip, but I do uh, at, uh, in our clip. So it's a mixture, of just fifty fifty, um, no thinners again, and um, it just brings up this sort of golden rust effect, if you like, you know, um, tracks, um, and again more 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 paint in the cup. Watch yourself there, son. Um, and um just spray that on really nice and um again you know let it let it sit and, and dry really really well flick it over and um just continue on what you were doing earlier on so yeah uh, it turns out really nice so it is Love airbrushing. It's just it's just the so it's the best bit about modeling. I I find anyway painting, but it doesn't matter what it's painting. It just I just love to see the effect of 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 the, the airbrushing on 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 whatever it is. Should it be the tracks or your plastic? Um, I seem to have missed a bit there. Hopefully I go over that again and um or is it maybe the light? But um no, it's probably the light. So anyway, that was the the XF nine and XX fifty four. So so here we are after that has dried, and there you go. There's the the two colours that I used are mixture fifty fifty, um, because I'd forgotten. So now we've we've let let it letting it dry, and you can see that lovely, lovely um, golden colour if you like. So now I'm gonna airbrush on some aluminium or a steel effect. Uh, I picked these AK weathering brushes up. So I've got this, I think it's called a fan brush. So uh, what I'll do, I'll do a bit of dry brush in here. So I'll put a bit of paint in that palette there. And then, as you know, just take, take the most, of, most of it off the brush. Um, so you're only you're only left with, um, and my arm's in the way. Well done, Liam. But there you can, you, you, you can see the effect that that's bringing up. Uh, I think it's just fantastic, the, that that method. That dry brushing method really gives that effect of a, a, a real life track that that's been on tarmac, and obviously you're highlighting you're highlighting the I don't know what you call them, but the 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 high part of the track that that would hit the ground or hit the tarmac if you like. So they they're 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 getting silvered if you like with our steel because they'd be exposed and they'd be worn. 
And then I would do the same on the inside as well. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I've shown you that here and I haven't lost it. But um, that that's the effect. It probably looks a bit too much there at the moment, if I'm honest with myself. But um, hopefully when I get to the to the end of the kit, when I actually have the, or the end of this clip, when I actually have the tracks, oh, beg your pardon, when I have the tracks actually on the vehicle, um, it, it looks um, it looks okay in my view. <laughs> but uh, there you are. So doing the same thing again, um, dry brushing over over that brown or that rust effect, if you like. And um, yeah, it's coming out really nicely, so it is. I suppose it's all but a trial and error too. You know, you don't know whether you've got enough on the brush or you've got too much. But um, just just keep working at it and um, practice makes perfect, perfect, I suppose. So yeah, it's still still even though there's hardly any paint left in that wee tin thing, I'm still still trying to get it off. So um that's coming along nicely, you would you'd agree, yeah. And um hopefully now I flick them over and I'll do the inside then where the road wheels would um would go along the um the the sprocket uh teeth if you like, uh on the inside of the track and you do the same there again. To give that effect that the the road wheels road wheels would be road wheels excuse me would be in contact with with uh, with the track so um, I'm just going to finish that off now very quickly just a quick scoot across the inside of the inside of the track uh, and 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 then that'll be uh, that'll be them. So again, I would I would let these dry for a bit. Um, and um, once they're dried, then I glued them together. I just used um, tell me a tell me a extra to use. Yeah, I just used uh, tell me a extra extra thin. <coughs> uh, I didn't use any super glue or anything like that. So just finishing off now a few more touches and a wee bit more left what I have in the brush. Um and um yeah, I was really happy the way the tracks turned out actually. Very happy with them. Um I didn't weather them too much. Well you will see anyway. Um I, I just I just left them. That's that um sort of steel exposure if you like. Um and once I put the wheels on then I um I I, I done that. So just getting the tail end of any 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 that silver. I think it was XF sixteen aluminium I used. Um I didn't have any specific colored steel colours if you like in my uh in my paint arsenal. <laughs> but um I think I think it, it does the same effect. So there you go, just just showing that off now there there and just let that sit to to dry and uh, take. So now here we are. Um, now you can just see I've put on the tracks, um, and they look too bad. But um, you can see I haven't. There's no sag, so I had to think about how to get the sag. So what I what I actually done was was I drilled. So see the there with the that stir is. I drilled a hole there, and I put a toothpick in, glued a toothpick in, and done the same on the other side, so that will show the the track sad sag beg your pardon uh now i'll, I'll paint that so I'll, I'll try to camouflage it so the same color as the track as you if you will and um hopefully that'll do the trick um but um uh, it was taken off now it was taken off now those 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 um wheel burn nuts they'll they'll get painted uh for the final reveal etc so um so there you are. Hi guys, so uh, we're at the desk now, and um, let's start off with a turret. Um, and um, this, as I said, this is the third, and there's a bit of track that's fallen off. Uh, whatever's gone, live, on, live so uh, we had to redo it. Uh, as you can see, I took a commander out, and uh, I'm just talking here about the, um, 
uh, the 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 chipping effect that didn't work out for me for whatever reason. Uh, I put down um, the uh, the dark grey uh, varnish that, and then put down the chipping fluid, and then my my three color camouflage. I'm thinking in hindsight, I maybe maybe should have used the chipping on each each color, um, rather than all three at once, um, which which feel the work so I just use a bit of sponge and done a bit of chipping around around certain places where there might have been um pitfall. Um you can see there um the the decals. I don't know what was going on with the decals. I know it's an old kit in nineties, ninety three I think it's a kit, but um uh in hindsight I shouldn't have put them on. Uh, I also fixed the barrel. I uh, was able to tighten that up a wee bit from uh if you've seen in the previous episodes um that was a bit of a bit of a droop. Um, but very, very enjoyable. Um, really did enjoy putting this together. As usual, Tamiya, fantastic standards. Everything just falls together. Um, and the Zimrit, I had the, I had the Zimrit there, uh, which it's a bit rough, but, uh, that was a first go. So, so I'm happy, happy with the way that turned out. Um, and, and there you go. I'm just, um, just showing you the, the, the barrel there. Uh, and I um, just put that down without too much damage. We'll get on to the hole now. So um, again, same same thing with the chipping. It didn't work out. Uh, well, for every reason. Uh, maybe maybe somebody can provide me with some some guidance. Uh, again, done the summit. I think the back end there, as I'm showing, is probably the best best bit of it. Does it was a bit rough. Um, but as you can see, um, um, I was quite happy with it. Um, in the previous, I had. The previous episodes I had the skirts on, but then I realized how are you going to get the tracks on them? So I had to take them off again and put them on, uh, which was a bit tricky, but super glue seemed to do the, do the, do the job well there. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, really, really happy with the way it's turned out. Um, the, uh, the camouflage, uh, really happy with the way it's turned out and that, uh, leopard, leopard effect. Um, you can see the, the weathering products there on, on my right hand. I just fired them all over the wheels and tracks and it, it seemed to turn out okay. No real rhyme or reason for what I was doing. Um, and, uh, it, it really turned out. I might show you. Yeah, I do. Here, here you go. So this is the colors I used 50 50 split. So XF64 and XF9. Uh, they give that, uh, sort of rust brown effect. On the, on the underside there were quite good. And then dry brushed it there to bring out that silver. Uh, and then cover up the wheels there. I'm showing, showing these, uh, these effects now. I'm sure there's many more that, that can't be used. Uh, and, um, but uh, this is what I used anyway. So it was good enough. Um, yeah. So, so just going around the effect. Um, I was hoping that maybe use a guitar string to do the, the, the ropes, but, um, I wasn't, I wasn't confident enough that the skills would be up to it. And then I'm showing the back end of it there now, um, where I've used light colors to, um, carry out the rust effect on the exhausts, uh, which turned out quite well. I was quite happy with that. And then I'm showing that, that red, whole, whole red, I think it is, the XF9, uh, that, that finished it off. And that gives a real sort of, a real used rust effect, uh, that, that would have been shown on them, on those vehicles. Um, so, uh, yeah, there, there, there you go, guys. Um, pretty happy with the way that's turned out. And, um, yeah, I'd be grateful for any comments or thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I appreciate it all. Uh, even, even some guidance, um, as to, to, uh, what, what I should do, um, further. Um, yeah, so good, good stuff. So, um, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I say that's the final, the final, uh, final video. Um, and I, uh, took a lot of work now that this is the first build of 2024. So it took a lot of work, a lot of hours. So I might do, uh, might do a wee Airfix hobby build. Um, with about t seven parts, that'd be great. <laughs> Just take a wee break. But as always, lads and, and girls, um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. Give me some comments and guidance. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.